Hello, welcome to the class of TTCN3. So here in this class, we are going to discuss about the TTCN3 test system architecture. So here, it represents the TTCN3 test system architecture. So there are the different components that are divided using the TCI and the TRI interface. So these components are like system adapter, platform adapter, system under test, codecs, component handling, and testing management, testing logins and the test system user. So these are the different component of this test system architecture. We will discuss about these all one by one. So starting with these two interfaces, TRI and TCI. So here the TRI stands for the TTCN3 runtime interface and it is a standardized interface that helps to connect system adapter with the system under test. So here in this diagram you can see that here the system adapter connects the system under test with the TTCN3 executable. After that the TCI, it stands for the TTCN3 control interface and it, it is a standardized interface that helps to connect external loggers, test management and the codex. So here you can see that here the TCI helps the management, loggings, codex and the component handling to connect to the TE that is the TTCN3 executable. So these are the two interfaces that are used to connect the different components with the compiler. Coming to this part, the TRI includes the test management, test login, coding and decoding, component handling tool. In TCI, it, it adds the system adapter and the platform adapter. So here we will discuss about this one by one. So here the test management that is TM, it features R, it, it manage the overall management of the test system and it performs test system user interface and it, it helps in execution of a test and it's provides it, it is a provider of different parameters. After that, the next part is, next component is the test login that stands for TL. So here it hand, uh, it function is to handle all the logs event of the test system. So as we, uh, as we are going further in this, uh, in this lectures, we, we, we are going to discuss about how to design the program. So here, there also we will discuss about the logs. Next is the codex that is the coding and decoding CD. So here it is used to, uh, for the encoding and decoding data that are associated with message based or the procedure based communication within the TE. And the next component in the TRI is component handling that is CH. So here this component handling is used to distribute the signals and communication between the parallel test components. So we will discuss about these in, late, in other lectures, in coming lectures. After that the TCI stand, uh, have the two components that is system adapter and the platform adapter. So here the system adapter adopts message based communication and it also adopts the procedure based communication to and from the SUT that is the system under test. So here basically it is used to transfer or receive the messages from the SUT. After that, next is platform adapter, PA. So here it implements the TTCN3 external functions and provide, and provide a TTCN test system with a single notation of time. So here we can also define the timer in platform adapter. So these are the different component of the test system architecture of TTCN3. Coming to the next, next the next is TTCN3 test system requirements. So these are the requirement of the TTCN3. So the first one is TTCN3 test suit. It requires the test suit first and after that it requires the TTCN3 tool plus execution environment. So here the a TTCN3 tool that is TTCN compiler and the interpreter and plus execution environment. So as we as we are using Eclipse TTCN3 by using the Seguin environment. So it required the TTCN tool and plus the execution environment. After that, the codex, the codex are required here because the message defined in our test need to be encoded into some format. So that is understood by the SUT before they are executed. So uh, and it also receive messages so the received message must also be decoded from their encoded form into the TTCN3 value representation. So that's why we are here. We require the codecs. 
After that, the SUT adapter. So here, the SUT adapter implements the mean of communication required by SUT interface. That it requires the message-based communication or the procedure-based communication. Uh, we also require the platform adapter. So here, the platform adapters implements a timing module and the external function. So these are the different requirement of the TTCN3 test system. So these must be in the these component must be added to to execute the TTCN3 language code. Coming to the next, so here we are going to discuss about the TTCN3 language representation. So here the TTCN3 language is represented into two form that is core notation and the second one is the presentation format. So here the core notation is the textual format. We will, uh, we will write the codes in the core notation part. And in presentation format, here the presentation format represents the two forms. So here the these are the tableau presentation format and the graphical presentation format. So in tableau format, it is used to provide look and feel of a existing TTCN2 tableau format to the test developer. So that's why we add the tableau presentation format in TTCN3. After that, the graphical presentation format, it is used for an extended version of MSE that is message sequence chart and it specify test scenario behavior. So these are the two presentation format representation that is tabular and the graphical. So these are represented as. So here you can see that this is the code notation or the textual part of the how we can write the code of this TTCN3 language. This one is the tableau format of the TTCN language and this one is this one is the graphical representation of this TTCN language so these are the three ways in which we can represent the TTCN3 language coming to the next we are going to discuss about the application area of TTCN3. So here the TTCN3 testing language is used in various large-scale project that is telecom system that uh, it is used to used to decode the sorry it is used to test the protocols of ISDN, UMTS, GSM, ATM or LT and it is also used in internet IP and IP based application and the protocol testing and it is all it is mostly used in software system testing like Java and XML and the other application areas of TTCN3 are automotive, railways and financials etc. So these are the application area of TTCN3. So this is all about the TTCN3 test system architecture. Thank you.